The South African Communist Party will do all in its power to ensure Yunus Walush rots in jail. That's if he doesn't fully disclose the names of all his co-conspirators. Walush is serving a life sentence for the assassination of former SACP General Secretary Chris Haini in April 1993. In January, Walush was denied parole, but his legal team took the decision on review. On Thursday, the Pretoria High Court ordered the Justice and Correctional Services Minister to, within 60 days, review his decision not to grant Parole. In an interview with ENCA's political editor, William Vogel, SACP General Secretary Bladen Zimande explained why are they so steadfast in their position. We are going to be making our further representation that we don't believe that Yanus Walush deserves a parole. Not because we are evil people, but simply because we want the truth. And also that will help the family to know who else was involved. For us politically, we can't be working with murderers who commit such a dastardly act who actually can get away with such a thing. So, But, but, of, what, but of what value uh, will the revelation of those names be? Well, firstly to the family. It brings closer to any family to know what happened especially to their loved ones who have departed in the manner that Comrade Chris did. But for us, it's a political issue, you know. Our democracy, the reason why we had a Truth and Reconciliation Commission was that we were not going to build our democracy on top of unresolved issues, especially issues related to violence perpetrated by apartheid against our people, that we must know the truth so that such, a, such things will never happen again. In fact, if the truth comes out, that acts as a disincentive to some people in future that such things will never be done again because such things do actually come out at the end of the day. But there are so many people who committed dastardly acts, who killed and maimed scores of people, but, uh, you know, uh, who uh, uh, still haven't been identified. And they walk among us, and they have been doing so for, for, for decades. Well, uh, Vuyo, you are right. You are right. That's why we are not doing this only in relation to Clive Dab I mean, sorry, to Yanus Warush. We also supported, by the way, the inquest behind the murder of Ahmed Timo. We were there with the family as the Communist Party. We actually support the fact that at last someone is actually going to be tried. The, the reason why today we're giving this award, you know, to, to some of the former MK cadres who were killed under mysterious circumstances is actually to remind the country to say, Yes, we honor them, but we would still like to know as to what actually happened. Everywhere where there is this issue of the truth having to come out about the atrocities of the apartheid regime, we are there. I know, for instance, I come from KZN. You know, my own early political activism was faced with the issue of having to deal with the violence that was perpetrated by the apartheid regime and its surrogates in Guazulu Nata. We still want to know, even today, you know, as to who actually did what. And those people must actually be called to account.